Hello everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com with another technology review. Today we're looking at the Cuckoo Watch. This is a smart watch and I'll tell you right off the bat, it's not really a fitness device of any kind. I'll get into some things that maybe could help you with your fitness a little bit later, but let's talk a little bit about this watch. It is the Cuckoo Watch, spelled C-O-O-K-O-O, -O -O, and it links with your iPhone and other smartphones. You'll have to check their website to see exactly what it works with. This is going to be a rather informal video, just kind of talking off the top of my head. I'm going to show you around, just talk about how it's working for me, try to show you some of the features. If something's not working, well, I'll just do my best to explain it, how it should have happened. Like I said, this is kind of an informal video. I'll just show you the software a little bit. I'll show you the watch, and we'll talk about it. So, let's take a look at the watch. You can see here. Now, I don't know if you're going to actually see the backlight. There's a button here. Yeah, you're not going to see it, but the backlight works just fine when it's dark. You can kind of see the screen there. Different things will come up on the screen as they need to. Let's see here. It's a little bit hard, but you'll see that little music note and then the three dots. That's to indicate that it's in, basically it's going to make noise and vibrate. You can change that by pressing this button. It'll cycle through being off, so it doesn't make any noise or vibrate. Um, it'll also cycle through the note, which is just noise, so it'll make a beeping sound or just vibrate. And then there's other things that come up, and hopefully I'll get emails and notifications and things while I'm making this video so I can show you that happening as much as possible. This button here is to connect it and unconnect it. So you might think, why would you want to turn it off and on? Well, at night, when I get up to go to the bathroom, I don't want my phone beeping and my watch beeping in the middle of the night telling me that I've gotten too far apart from them. Because one thing that this does, which is really cool, is it lets you know when you walk away from your phone. And that's a great feature because lots of people do that. They walk away from their phones. Even in the gym, you walk away from your phone. It's sitting there because you don't want to have your phone on. You might put it down beside you, walk away. Someone could grab that or you could just leave it behind, right? And I know like a lot of people do that. Put your phone down, walk away, at restaurants, things like that. So this will beep when you walk probably about 15 to 20 feet away. It'll start to beep, make a ruckus, let you know that you've left your phone behind. The other thing you can do is you can push, I'm trying to remember which button it is, this button here, when you're not in any music modes or different modes or camera modes, if you push this button, the command button, so you can see that command button there, you push that one and it will basically indicate, it'll make a noise on the phone so you can find your phone if you've misplaced it, as long as it's within close proximity. So this is the pairing button, I guess you'd say. This button, I'm trying to remember what this one does, I can't even remember. Does it say anything? Oh, sorry, I should know that. That's the light. And then this is the for cycling through the different um, noise vibration modes, and this is the command button. Uh, this is for obviously for adjusting the time. This watch does come in a variety of different colors, and it's good down to, I believe, what is it, 10 bar? Uh, I'm trying to remember. 5 ATM, which is basically, they say it's good for swimming, showering washing, that kind of stuff, but for some reason they say you can swim in it, but you can't bathe. I have no idea why you can't bathe, but you can swim. Unless maybe the hot water does something to it, I don't know, but it is sealed. It has two batteries inside, one basically that you can replace that operates all this sort of intelligent side of the thing, and then one that powers the actual watch. So the watch will keep running even when the, basically the watch stops working, or not the watch, but the, the intelligent smart side of it turns off. So there's a bigger battery for that. Again, it comes in a lot of different colors, so if, it, if you're a woman, um, it's not too big. It looks big in this video, but it's not too bad. If you're a woman, you can get a, you, know, you can get pinks and whites and different colors like that. The band is nice. It's nice and stretchy, so it's very comfortable. It's kind of lightweight. I like the um, two-tone. I, I could have got this in all black, but I like the two-tone because it matches my other fitness tracker here, my, my uh, Polar Loop, so kind of similar. Now it does come in this really cool box here, and this box, there's actually a cutout here, a hole on the back side, so you can turn this into a birdhouse when you're done, and I will, I'll just put it outside, it'll become a birdhouse, but your watch is inside here, 
and the watch will be, well let's just take a quick look. Now there's some things, I want to mention this while I'm discussing it. I was under the impression that you could do things like push pins, which you could with the with the previous iOS, so iOS 6 I guess, and you could do, what else was the other thing you could do, there was something else that was I thought was cool that I can't seem to do anymore. Oh, you could used to be able to take video, not just pictures, can't do that anymore. Um, I think that's it. There was something else that it that it doesn't do anymore, and I was hoping it would. But anyways, if I remember, I'll mention it. But what this does do is it'll let you know when there's a phone call coming in. It'll show you if you've missed a phone call. There's different symbols that come up. It'll let you know scheduled events. Oh, yeah, the other thing that it used to do is it used to be able to um, put timers on, and it would beep when your timer went off. Can't do that anymore. You could set a calendar event to go off, but you can't set a timer. So you could kind of get around it using calendar events and having them um, basically notify you then. Uh, you can, it'll notify you when there's emails, it'll no notify you when there's text messages, things like that, and also when your battery is low. So those are kind of neat features. Uh, my wife is constantly running her phone on empty, and so that'll, that would be great for her. She'd be able to be notified that her phone's about to die before it dies, so that'd be great for her. My mother-in-law is constantly losing her phone, so she could track it down with this by using the homing device, and also, you know, when she walks away, it'll beep, her watch will beep, and she'll be alerted that she's walked away from her phone. So that's really cool. The other thing that you can do is you can start and stop your music, and you can activate your camera. You can take pictures. So how can this be used for fitness? Well, it can be used for fitness, in my opinion, because you can take better selfies, right? You can put your, your phone a little further away, walk back, get in just the right position, the right lighting, and take just a beautiful selfie with the remote button. The other thing you can do is you can obviously turn your music off and on. So you can, you can turn it off and on when you want. And you can also fast forward or, I guess, skip songs by pressing the button. So you hold the button short for turning it off, the music off and on, and you hold the button longer to make it skip the song. So if you don't like the song in your playlist, just skip it without having to necessarily be holding your iPhone the whole time. So you can put your iPhone like at your home gym or wherever in your bag, as long as it's somewhat close to you and you can remotely control the music with the actual watch. Very cool. All right, let's take a look here. Let me get into my phone. There we go. And so this is the um, software. This is the page that kind of shows you where your, um, it's like a homing device. So see how it's gotten really close there? I'm going to walk away with this a bit and we'll see if we can get that guy to move away a little bit. Okay, is it moving away? Yeah. So I'm walking away. I'm about 10 feet away now. And I'm going to come back and you'll see that it'll, so it's going to help you find it if you don't know where it is. It'll make, now, if I push the, um, the button, if I go here, I can actually, I'm trying to remember how to do this, I can go out of range alert, so I can, this is the out of range alert, but I can find the watch by pushing this button, and you'll see there, it's going to beep, right? So I can go, okay, found it, good. So that's just to uh, find the watch, right? So sometimes you take the watch off, you can't find it. I don't know too many people to do that, but hey, you can do that. So as you noticed, if I click on here, you can see there's a few things you can do. Find watch, power off, device info, demo features. Also, if you have firmware updates, they show up here as well. So let's get out of here. Now I'm going to press the one button. And you can see here, this is sort of your notifications page. Uh, optometrist appointment tomorrow. I'm not sure why it's showing there twice, but anyways, Earth Day. So it's showing me different things. And so that's just an overall thing. So this would be scheduled stuff, right? So if I had an email that came in or whatever. Now... You can set up emails so that they show you in here, but I've just got it so that it's a little tricky to set up, but I basically got the iPhone set up so that I don't have to enter emails in the software here. It's just going to send me notifications through the notification center. So there's a little bit of trickiness involved, and that's one area that I thought this was a little bit confusing was the whole email notifications and stuff. You have to really kind of know, play around with the settings before you can get them to work. And maybe I'll go in there and show you what I've done to get it to work properly, but... Um, yeah, anyways, so there's also, okay, we're back to there. I didn't want to be there. Let's go. So didn't really show you very close. Okay, so that's Thomas' just appointment, different things there. So show you this close. So those are the different things, demo features, all that kind of stuff there. All right, so let's go back. And let's go to settings. So you can see here. I've got, uh, well, there's one of my emails, and you can kind of get to different things. I don't really use this page very much. It's not something I've used very much, 
but um, let's go back here. You have some other settings, and these are for what you want to actually happen on your phone. So you have to have these on, but you also have to have your notifications set up a certain way in your notification center on your phone. But you can also see here we've got these buttons, and this allows me to basically find my phone. Now, in the previous iOS version 6, there were more options here, push pins and all kinds of stuff. And this is using the command button. You could assign different time lengths to do different things. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the software. Go back to here. Oh, oh, I did want to show you one more thing. Okay, so let's go back to here. Come on. No, don't want to be there. I want to be here. Where's that guy? So you got your camera. That's an important one. So let's do take a picture of this guy. So now I'm just going to take a picture by holding this button down. So here we go. Click. See, I use my watch to take a picture. So very neat. And that's very useful again for taking selfies. All right, you know what? Let's go into the um, into my software if I can find it. There it is, settings. And so we want to go into notification center, and you want to make sure things are like, for instance. Um, mail. You want to make sure that you have all this stuff on and you want to be at least, I've got mine in banner mode, but you got to have all this stuff on so that you can get it to work. So you'll, you will have to play around with the notification set settings to get it to work. Um, messages again to see the settings I have here. You don't have to show a preview. You don't have to have repeats, but you do have to have show a notification that one's really important that's because that sends the message to the phone the notification center does so make sure that you um, have those set on for different things that you want now I didn't want to have things like um, so I've got some things turned off like Twitter and Facebook I didn't want to know every time someone from Twitter or Facebook so I turned off the show and notification center that may help you and same with like Facebook I didn't want to see that so I turned it off show and notification center and now I don't see those ones so that's one way to do that I found that worked for me. I had to play around with it before I figured that out, but it uh, it does work, so that's cool. All right. Now I didn't really show you what comes in the box. The watch is wrapped around this guy, obviously, sort of zap strapped in there, so it fits nicely in the box. You do get an extra seal, I guess. If you wreck the one when you're changing the battery, you get an extra O-ring. You do get this little sticker that you can uh, seal up the box when you turn it into a birdhouse. So just reuse the box, stick the label to seal the drawer bottom, and you get this little manual with some basic information and how to change the battery and things like that. So again, what do I think about this Cuckoo watch? It's a little cuckoo. You know, it could be better, it could be worse. I think I'm going to keep it because, like I said, the watch is kind of lightweight. I've kind of gotten out of wearing the big bulky watches, the heavy ones. I like things that are a little bit less obtrusive now. Plus, I have a watch on this guy. This guy already has a time. But I do like being able to see all the notifications coming in. That's very handy. And I kind of like knowing when I've walked away from my phone because I have done that a few times. Even in the gym, I've put my phone down and walked away from it a few times. This would start beeping and let me know that I've walked away from it. So it could save me several hundred dollars in replacing a phone if it got lost or stolen. Now, for women especially that leave their phones in their purses, my wife often puts her phone in her purse in vibrate mode. She doesn't feel it. She doesn't hear it. So if she were wearing a watch like this, she'd be notified someone's calling her. There's a message. There's things going on. So another useful aspect to having one of these watches. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of informal technology review on the Cuckoo Watch. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And come on down to the GetFitOver40.com website if you get a chance. Got a lot of fitness and health related information there and some other fitness technology reviews you might be interested in. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.